In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Dear audience, I am Dr. Khuram Shahzad from National University of Modern Languages, Islamabad. Today I intend to talk about phrase structure rules. So, of course, phrase, phrase structure rules are great in number. So, I will be talking about them one by one in different videos. So, the very first thing that I will be talking about today is the noun phrase. So, according to Peter Sells, we should consider sentence number 64, dash liked ice cream. The expressions that can occur in the blank position here are once again limited. The kinds of expressions that do appear here include Mary liked ice cream, I liked ice cream, you liked ice cream, students liked ice cream, the students liked ice cream, the tall students liked ice cream, the students from Seoul liked ice cream, the students who came from Karachi liked ice cream. So all these phrases, they can come at the place of the subject here. Because in this sentence, the subject was missing. Dash liked ice cream. If we look, at, look into the subconstituents of these expressions, we can see that each includes at least an N and forms an NP. This leads us to posit the following rule. So NP is equal to determiner, which is, you know, optional. That is why it is given in bracket. Then there is A and after that there is an asterisk, which means that it is optional. Then there is N. So N is compulsory because N will be the head noun. And after the head noun, again, two things are given there and they are in bracket and they can be interchanged as well. PP stands for prepositional phrase slash S. S means modifying sentence. So the noun phrase can consist of pre-terminal nodes also called pre-head string and post-terminal nodes also called post-terminal string. This rule characterizes a phrase and is one example of a phrase structure rule also called PS rule. The rule indicates that an NP can consist of an optional determiner, any number of optional A's, adjectives, an obligatory N, head noun, and then an optional PP, prepositional phrase or a modifying sentence. So 66 is the rule. N is equal to determiner A, N, PP or S, though there can be some other modifications as well that I will be talking about later on. A noun phrase may function as the subject or object of a clause. A noun phrase may consist of a single word, a noun or a pronoun. So even the word I which is a pronoun, you which is a pronoun, they which is a pronoun they can stand alone as a noun phrase and one word which can be the name of a person place or a thing like Karachi like Lahore like Ahmed like George they can be the noun phrases the most important noun in a noun phrase is called the head word or head noun so there are four slots in a noun phrase determiner optional adjective then head noun and then post terminal string or post terminal nodes so it means that in a noun phrase we can have four slots determiner and adjectives they are optional so head noun which is the third phrase third slot this is the compulsory slot and then post terminal nodes which is again an optional slot. My old maths teacher was Australian. So here we have my old maths teacher 
so teacher is the head noun okay and it is basically the noun phrase but my old maths teacher so this will become the noun phrase here we have got you know my which is adjective old again which is adjective and math which is a noun but here it is working as an adjective and then teacher which is the head noun my spotty red car with a sunroof so here we have got pre terminal nodes and post terminal nodes my spotty red this is the pre terminal node car is the head noun and with a sunroof which is a pp because it is starting with with so it is post terminal node the mysterious woman in black the mysterious the determiner mysterious adjective woman head noun in black prepositional phrase the term noun phrase refers to a group of words which act like a noun words can go before the noun the great river and or after the noun man of honor of honor is a prepositional phrase they modify the meaning of the noun now peter sells in 67 gives us a t diagram of a noun phrase so np it can be divided into different nodes so we have determiner a adjective and head noun and pp which is you know prepositional phrase or modifying sentence so we can also have present participle and past participle which is coming after the noun and you know that is brought because people they can delete which is for example amad lying there amad who was lying there so who or was they are deleted and lying there so in this way present participle and past participle they can also come after the noun and again they are modifying the noun in this short video i have talked about a noun phrase noun phrase can have four slots first one is determiner it is optional second is adjective it is also optional third one is the head noun it is compulsory and fourth one is the pp which is prepositional phrase or s which can be a modifying sentence thank you very much